Hi guys, in this video we will show you uh, how to uh, make uh, uh, module development from scratch uh, how you can uh, uh, add the module to your Visual Studio and then build it and then install it to the .NET New site and then add it to uh, a page in the .NET New so uh, let's start and go ahead and start um, at the beginning we will uh, download uh, a Visual Studio template uh, for .NET Nuke uh, it's called Crystalk .NET Nuke uh, module and theme uh, development template uh, we will download this one uh, from this website I will show you the URL uh, in the video and uh, we let's go ahead and click download and we in, will install uh, 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 this uh, uh, exe to uh, our visual studio I'm here I'm already installed it uh, but it's pretty simple like it will be added in like less than a minute after this I will go to my uh, DNN uh, uh, website uh, uh, or solution in the uh, Visual Studio uh, if you uh, did, didn't know how to do this or how to install this I recommend that you can see my previous video of how to install the DNN uh, uh, website in your machine and uh, all the configurations in the IIS so let's go ahead and add um, uh, the project um, DNN template it's pretty much as um, a project type so we will choose here like new project uh, and in C sharp you will find here uh, a dot .NET new um, tab and I will choose um, uh, you will have like different options like uh, .NET Nuke 7 uh, compiled module or theme or compile or Dell 2 compiled module I will choose uh, DNN .NET Nuke 7 compiled module uh, I would prefer to put it in separate uh, folder so I would check uh, my uh, uh, folder for the project I prefer to put them here in the um, module projects or I can put in can create another folder for it Select this folder. We'll call it test module for for now. And then we click OK. Now the module has been added to your uh, uh, solution. Uh, the module is called here test module. Um, after this, uh, you maybe will find like some missing um, uh, uh, DLLs, so you will go ahead and add them uh, from the .NET New website. From here, we'll go ahead quickly go and add them. I will go ahead and just develop, make some title or some statement and uh, uh, project to show you how it's working so right now I, I just added this sentence and then 
I will show you guys here is the view module is the view user control this view user control uh, contains um, the initial um, view for the module you will have here like uh, uh, a lot of uh, folders like build scripts, components, uh, data, documentation providers. We'll have the settings and the edit uh, user controls. Also, the module, the CSS, if you want to change, uh, if you want to add your uh, styling, style sheet, all the stuff. Um, next step uh, to add or to add this module or to install this module to your uh, .NET new website you will uh, change the build type to be release and then you will build the module and after making sure that everything is um, uh, built succeeded you will go to the module folder and in the install folder you will find here two zip folder the install and the source so to install uh, uh, the module to your website uh, if you guys can uh, or didn't uh, watch my previous video in uh, DNN uh, module extension installing I will show you now guys how we can install it uh, uh, in the website so I will run my project uh, I will choose a web project and I will run it And this zip folder, or uh, uh, the one that generated right now when I uh, was generated right now when I was uh, building the website in the and sorry the the DNN project in the release, uh, it contains all the like minimized version of all the module uh, files and DLLs, and I will show you guys now how we can install it uh, to uh, our uh, .NET new portal. I will log in as host account Uh, after this I will be in the uh, control panel or the administration panel of the uh, website I will go uh, in host and then extensions I'll choose install extension wizard, wizard. the file I will go to the C document the C sorry the uh, project folder which is I already opened here I will choose the install one I have to wait until uh, DNN register all the files and the module in the database and in the uh, module files. pretty much everything is okay so to make sure that everything okay and the module is successfully installed I will check the module here in the module list For example, you will find the module here 
Uh, actually, all this stuff is configurable. If you can configure it from here, from the uh, uh, module, uh, this one, or uh, uh, like you can configure the data. The the text will be showing everything we can. It's configurable through the uh, uh, the module files. So now the module is installed. The next step is let's add it to a page and the in the website and see how it's working. So I will go to page management. For example, this one. And I will to add the module to your page I simply will choose modules add new module will show me all the installed modules let's search for test module which is here I will add it to the content pan in the middle and let's close this edit module right now the module has been added to my page and if you guys can see this is the hello world the one I added uh, earlier so guys this is like um, basic for adding a module and uh, 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 building a .NET Nuke module from scratch um, uh, if you can like my uh, Facebook page and to get all the updates and uh, thank you